Hello everyone, welcome to Apigee 4 minute videos for developers. In this video we are going to talk about Apigee concurrent rate limit policy and how it works. Myself Anil Sagar, I work at Apigee as an evangelist and a principal architect. Prerequisites, you need an Apigee Edge account which is free, you can register at enterprise.apigee.com. In this video we are going to see how to throttle number of concurrent connections of an API to the target server using Apigee API proxy and concurrent rate limit policy. Let's take a look at the problem statement. Let's have, uh, uh, I mean, assume that you have uh, different uh, stakeholders who is making an API calls to the target server and uh, at any particular point of time, target server supports only few number of API calls. So let's say if there are fine number of API calls, the target server might respond back to the clients. If there are more number of API calls that is coming at any point of time, I mean concurrent connections, then target server might start behaving weirdly or the latencies will increase and sometimes even target servers might even go down, which will affect uh, the traffic uh, to the various apps and, and, and the clients who is making to the API calls to the target server. So how to solve this problem using Apigee Edge? Uh, so Apigee Edge uh, sits in between the client and the target server where you can create an API proxy and add in a concurrent rate limit policy saying that at any point of time only five concurrent connections are allowed to the target server. So you can configure this number in the Apigee Edge. So if there are more number of calls that is coming at any point of time, then Apigee Edge will gracefully decline those requests and send back the final three response back to the client. Let's see uh, the concurrent rate limit policy in action by creating a simple API proxy. I'm going to use uh, Node.js uh, app as a backend uh, uh, target server. So I'm going to call the box proxy as a concurrent demo. I'm going to uh, say that uh, it's a pass through proxy. There is no authorization required and all the defaults will be selected to create the proxy. So once the proxy uh, gets created, um, we are going to add a, a delay to the uh, target server to see the concurrent rate limit uh, policy in action. So we're going to add uh, a delay of uh, 20 seconds um, using the set timeout uh, 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 function in Node.js saying that uh, uh, once the API call comes to the target server, target server is going to reply back after 20 seconds. And uh, we are going to say only at any point of time two concurrent connections are allowed to the target server. So that we're going to do using concurrent rate limit policy. Uh, you should attach the policy either uh, uh, to the target endpoints and uh, and uh, to the default uh, fault rules so that you can, you can decrement the counter even if there is an error. As you can see the policy is attached to both the request and the response flow because the reason is uh, we need to increment the counter on the request and decrement the counter on the response. So we need this policy in both the request and response. So let's configure uh, um, the policy to allow uh, two requests at any point of time uh, with a TTL of 20 seconds and straight on TTL to true. Let's uh, save the proxy and uh, let's make the few calls to see the concurrent rate limit policy in action. So at any point of time, uh, only two connections, two concurrent connections are allowed to the target server. So let's make the API calls uh, using, uh, uh, using the trace. Uh, so I'm going to make the first call. So the call is in progress. Uh, so I'm going to use the postman or, or the browser to make a uh, few other calls. I'm going to use the postman. This is the second call. This is the third call. This is the fourth call. As you can see, uh, 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 the, the third call and fourth call uh, got rejected because uh, we are allowing only two concurrent uh, connections at any point of time. As you can see, only two concurrent connections, the third and fourth uh, got rejected. So that's how you can limit uh, the number of concurrent connections to the target server using Apigee Edge and the concurrent rate limit policy. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please post your questions in the community.apigee.com. Thank you for watching this video.